Welcome to the Hamilton Convention Center on TV's concert. reached the Lake Ontario shoreline once again in another Cross Canada tour. The Celtic pop band that started a mere six years ago in a kitchen in Petty Harbour, Newfoundland, followed by one of their first television appearances right here on TV a year later, is now among the top-rated bands in this country. This is Feel It Turn from their new CD, Turn. And this is Sean McCann and Bob Hallett of Great Big C. Hey. Welcome back to Hamilton. Great to be back. You must have a special place in your hearts for this city because you've made this on your this stop on your tours a number of times. Always, uh, people sometimes say, "Well, you know, uh, we'll do Toronto instead," but we never. We always do both, and uh, I think the people of Hamilton uh, have a shared uh, personality trait, and that would be uh, independent edginess. I think, like many same people from St. John's, so it's, it's a hardworking town. It's a it's a great place to be. A lot of a lot of nerve out there. We can feel it. A lot has happened to you since your first appearance here on TV by a couple of your band members. You were here, Bob, uh, yes. five years ago. Did you ever think you'd be where you are today back then? Well, we certainly wanted to be. Uh, I mean, you know, every musician starts out practicing thinking they're going to be a huge star. Uh, getting from A to Z, though, tends to be a, a much harder process. And, you know, I guess we never anticipated how much work we'd have to do to get where we are. <laughs> But you say you like the touring, it's not a grind, right? I well, we certainly enjoy the performing aspect of it. I mean, the problem with being a touring band in Canada is the vast distances you have to go through. I'm sure if everyone in the band ever saw an airport or a bus or a van ever again, it wouldn't bother me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> certainly wouldn't bother me. <clears throat> but it's that applause at the end of all these sold out concerts that you say makes it all worthwhile, Sean. Well, at the end of every day, I mean, what, this is a great job. People clap. Like most people go to work and, you know, they get paid. Uh, we go to work, we get paid. Amazing. Yeah, well, that's great. But then at the end of every show, people clap. I mean, that'd be great. I mean, if I was working at Tim Hortons, you know, if people came in and said, yeah. oh, double chocolate and a chocolate fudge brownie, yeah, and yay! <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice for us all? That's, I think everyone deserves some applause every day. I want to go back to this kitchen in Petty Harbor uh -huh. so many years ago. You, you all grew up with this music in your blood. Tell me how, how it all began. Well, I mean, the kitchen in Petty Harbor, I guess, is kind of a metaphor for us now for, for what we started, and that we all, we all grew up playing traditional music in our families. And that the music was always around us, you know, and there was instruments around, and we were encouraged to play. And uh, it was often referred to as kitchen music in Newfoundland because this is where people would congregate. As opposed to, you know, living rooms and rec rooms, people would always go to the kitchen. I guess that's where the stove was, and it'd be the warmest spot. So for a lot of people, this is still kitchen party music. That's where the fridge was. <laughs> Closest, <More than laughs> <a bunch. laughs> Closest to the fridge. How would you describe then how your music evolved and, and the sound that, uh, that you have today? Well, I guess we, we are, you know, products of our own age, and uh, we were exposed. We've been a part of Canada for 50 years, and we got, you know, American radio started infiltrating, and this has an effect on us. Uh, we all listen to contemporary pop mute songs, and we have our own types of music we like. And this is, this is what we bring into the old and the, the focused uh, traditional music of Newfoundland. We, we, we bring in our youth and, uh, and, and, and make older songs probably more applicable to today's people our age. So. I think that's what we've added in, you know. We've not denied ourselves our own personalities and our music. The goal for us was always to make an album where you couldn't tell the difference between the songs we wrote and the traditional music. So every album for us is an effort to get closer to that ideal. Well, tell me about Turn then and uh, the significance of, of this album to you. Well, this one was, uh, <clears throat> we've been touring all over the place and uh, we found, that this was, it was late in coming. We've been touring and touring. We do a lot of work in America now and in Denmark and Germany and Scotland and England and anywhere they'll have us. So after two years, we said, well, we've got to, we've got to make a record, you know. So we, ma we made this record in uh, 18 days between a, a European tour and an American tour, and we only had 18 days. So we were forced to, like, really crystallize our thoughts. There was no room for any, like, experimentation. We knew what we were going to do. And I think this, this record came out uh, for the most part, all the tracks are our four of us sitting down playing together, which is what we've become very good at. You play uh, 240 odd shows a year. You, you, you get, better be getting pretty really good at it. <laughs> anticipate what he's going to play before he even plays it. Sean McCann and Bob Hallett of Great Big C, thank you so much. Best of luck in the remainder of your tour. From Hamilton, you move on to Massey Hall's sold out shows, both of them yep. in Toronto this weekend.
Hope to see you back in Hamilton again. Oh, indeed. Thanks. From the new CD, Turn, Great Big City. Versatile band, great group of guys have come a long way in a short time too. Absolutely. Good to see. Yeah. And it's uh, the next stop for Great Big C is that arena known as Massey Hall in Toronto. That's tomorrow, and it's also <laughs> happening on Saturday night. So uh, good luck to the guys. They do a great job, and they. Have great